Okay, so in this session, we will discuss uh, Fourier. So, first I will define what is a periodic function. A function f of x is called periodic function if f of x is defined for all x except possibly at some points and if there is a positive number p called a period of f of x such that f of x plus p is equal to f of x for all x. So that is, that is, that is, a, a function is said to be periodic function with the period p if f of x plus p is equal to f of x for all x. So this notation is for all, for all x. An example, if I define f of x is equal to sin x, then we know that f of x plus 2 pi is equal to sin x plus 2 pi. This is actually equal to sin x, right? Why? Because sin x plus 2 pi is sin a plus sin b, that is sin, sin a, a plus b is equal to sin a x cos 2 pi plus sin 2 pi cos pi cos x. So this is uh, actually equal to sin x into cos 2 pi is sin x plus 0. Sin 2 pi is 0. So sin x plus 2 pi is sin x which is equal to f of x. Therefore here p is equal to period is equal to 2 pi. So similarly, we can define any function as a Fourier, uh, as a um, periodic function with the period. So if I define x square on the interval 0 to sorry, minus pi to pi, then what I will define is, I will define f of x plus 2 pi is equal to f of x. So that means this I am defining. So such that then our function may be like this minus pi to pi. Actually, this is my function. Real function. Now I am extending this function as a pi to pi 3 pi. So I am extending this function from pi to 3 pi as like this. Similarly, I will define like this. That means I am defining this function in such a way that f of x equal to x square when x is in between minus pi and pi. Then I am defining that f of x plus 2 pi is equal to f of x. So that means if any, any function then if pi to 2 pi, 3 pi, I am defining the function is same as minus pi 2 pi minus 3 pi so this is that means any function f of x can be written as a periodic function of this form we can define the period so, so that is the importance of Fourier now I will define what is Fourier series so a series of the form a0 plus a1 cos x plus b1 sin x plus a2 cos 2x plus b2 sin 2x etc. Which is equal to, I am usually representing a0 by 2. a0 by 2 uh, sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. is called a Fourier series. That means this is a series of sine and cosine terms. So the importance is under certain conditions f of x can be written as any function can be written as uh, Fourier series representation. So that conditions are called very important condition, they will select condition. You should study this condition. So the rich let condition, we will define the rich let condition. Under certain conditions 
the function f of x can be developed as a Fourier series. These conditions are called Dirichlet condition. That means if f of x satisfies f of x satisfies that is if f of x satisfies of x satisfies certain condition these three conditions 1 2 3 then f of x can be written as a Fourier series that means f of x is equal to k naught by 2 plus n equal to 1 to infinity sigma n equal to 1 to infinity n cos nx plus pn sin nx so the, the conditions are f of x must be periodic that means we must define f of x as a periodic function and finite and f of x must be continuous except possibly at a finite number of discontinuities in one period that means f of x must be continuous except for finite number of terms and f of x must have at most finite number of maxima and or minima in one period of x must have most finite number of maxima for minimum. Okay, now we will, uh, if f of x satisfies this condition, then f of x can be written as a Fourier series. So, now we will define what is Fourier expansion of f of x. So, listen carefully. Sir. Okay, tell me. Sir, our second condition, conditions in the second number, f of x must be continuous except a possibility of a finite number. Second. Okay, that means the uh, other function, we have to define it minus pi to pi. Define it again. If we have to function continuous, like uh, maximum finite number of discontinuity. Suppose I can define like this. Any I define the angle here is zero on the arena point discontinuous, right? That means there is only one one discontinuity, that means finite number of discontinuity. Uh, or uh, if I define like this minus pi to pi. Uh, minus pi to pi by 2 minus pi by 2 this like this okay. so here how many discontinuities are there one four discontinuities four discontinuities that is also a finite number okay so such functions can be expressed as a Fourier series but uh, some uh, sometimes there are infinite uh, number of discontinuity. Like if I define a function like this, uh, like uh, some points, like uh, uh, that means, uh, for example, if I am defining like this, f of x equal to zero when uh, x is a rational number rational number and f of x is 1 when x is irrational number okay. so that means uh, rational and irrational numbers are uh, spread right so, uh, between one rational number there may be infinite between two rational number there may be infinitely many irrational numbers so such functions we cannot uh, express as a Fourier series because there are infinite number of discontinuities. Okay. Have you got it? Yes, so, yes, yes, sir. You can have at most finite number of discontinuities. Okay. So these are okay. Okay. And the third condition is f of x must have at most finite number of maxima or minima. That means f of x has can have at most finite number of maxima or minima. Okay. So now, now we will define what is a Fourier series expansion and uh, I will define how to find out the uh, constant A0, A1, etc.
suppose uh, f of x be a periodic function with a period 2l it means here we have given period is 2l satisfies Dirichlet condition on the interval c c plus 2l satisfies Dirichlet condition on the interval c c plus 2l then f of x can be expressed as Fourier series of the form f of x. You note it down. This is the Fourier series of f of x, a naught by 2. And our interval is c to c plus 2a. And our period is 2a. p equal to 2a. And the interval is c, c plus 2a. c, c plus p. a naught. Sigma n equal to 1 to infinity. a n cos n pi x by l plus b n sin n pi x by l. So, this uh, series is called uh, Fourier series. And here, 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 a naught, a n, b n, or n equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. are constants. Now, now, our aim is we have to find what is a naught, a n, and b n. The, it is given by Euler's formula, Euler's formula, this formula for finding a naught, a n, and b n. The, the, the derivation in the textbook, you can refer those textbook for derivation. Okay. So, I will give you what is Euler's formula for A0. A0 is simply A0 is equal to 1 by L. L is period by 2. Integral the length of the interval as C to C plus 2L. C, C plus 2L, F of X, dx. So, this is the formula for finding A0. AN is equal to 1 by L integral c to c plus 2l f of x cos n pi x by l dx. So, this is the formula for finding a n. So, this is a naught a n. So, you note it down this form. And last b n. b n is 1 by l integral c to c plus 2l f of x into sin n pi x by l dx. So, these are the formula for finding a naught, a n and b n. If we know a naught, a n and b n, then we can write a Fourier series of any function f of x. Okay, have you completed this? You noted down what is Fourier series and how to find out a naught, a n and b n. These are the formulas. Now we will do a problem. So the problem is find Fourier series, Fourier coefficient of the periodic function f of x. And the formula is given uh, f of x is defined minus k when minus pi less than x less than 0. So the value of x in between minus pi and 0 f of x is minus k and k if 0 less than x less than pi and f of x plus 2 pi is equal to f of x. So, now we will define. So, given, given f of x is equal to minus k when minus pi less than x less than 0, k when 0 less than x less than and also given f of x plus 2 pi is equal to f of x. Symbolize p or 2l. Period is actually 2l. 2l is equal to here 2 pi. Therefore, l equal to pi. So, we get l equal to pi. Now, first we will find out a naught. a naught is by Euler's formula 1 by l integrals c to c plus 2l f of x dx. 
So this uh, function is defined only in interval. So C2, C plus 2L is actually here. Uh, the starting point is minus 5, 5. So, so this is equal to integral 1 by, sorry, 1 by L is 5. And uh, interval is minus pi to pi integral minus pi to pi f of x here so this is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to so our function is defined as z minus pi to 0 minus pi to 0 it is minus kdx plus 0 to pi 0 to pi kdx so this is equal to 1 by pi minus k dx x integral x minus pi to 0 plus k k is a constant k into integral dx x 0 to pi so this is equal to 1 by pi into minus k if i put a limit 0 minus pi plus 0 minus minus pi so 0 minus minus k into pi minus 0 so this i will get 1 by pi minus k 0 minus minus pi is minus k pi plus here k pi so this is equal to 0. So we get a naught is equal to 0. So that is our first unknown a naught is equal to 0. Now we will find a. a n is actually the definition for a n is formula for a n is 1 by L integral c to c plus 2 L f of x cos n pi x by L d. So this is 1 by pi integral our interval is minus pi to pi f of x cos n pi x by pi that is cos n x now we will split the integral 1 by pi into integral we know that minus pi to 0 minus k cos nx dx plus integral 0 to pi k cos nx dx so this is equal to 1 by pi integral cos nx is minus sorry cos nx is sin nx by n so minus k into sin nx by n minus pi to 0 plus k times sin nx cos nx derivative uh, integral is sin nx by n 0 to so this is 1 by pi minus k by n sin 0 0 minus sin minus n pi again 0 plus k by n sin n pi sin n pi is 0 minus sin 0 here. so we will get the answer is 0 so i quote a n is also equal to 0 a naught is equal to 0 and a n is equal to 0 now we will define what is b n by definition have you uh, tell me what is the definition uh, formula for finding b n tell me 1 by l integral 1 by l integral c2 c plus 2 l f of x sin n pi n pi n pi n so this is equal to 1 by l is pi and our interval is minus pi to pi 
f of x sin n pi x by l l pi so pi n pi get cancelled so we will get sin n x d so this is 1 by pi we will split the function integral minus pi to 0 k sin n x dx plus integral 0 to pi so here minus pi minus pi here k sin n x dx so this is 1 by pi we can take minus k outside and the integral sin n x is minus cos n x divided by n and the integral uh, range of limit of integration is minus pi to 0 plus i can take k outside and the sin n x derivative uh, integral is minus cos n x by n 0 to So this is equal to 1 by pi minus k by n k minus n minus get cancelled plus cos cos n into 0 that is cos 0 minus cos n minus pi divided okay n is a plus k times k by n times minus cos n or minus o and write minus o cos n pi minus cos 0 so this is equal to 1 by pi k by n cos 0 1 minus minus 1 power x cos n pi is minus 1 power n because you know that cos pi minus 1 cos 2 pi 1 cos 3 pi minus 1 and so on so we will get 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 so this is actually minus 1 power x minus k by n minus 1 power n minus 1 so this is actually equal to k this is minus 1 power n so minus of uh, this you will get the k by 2 k by n pi 1 minus minus 1 power so d so we get dn is equal to 2k by n pi 1 minus minus 1 power therefore our Fourier series is f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x so this is a naught is 0 a n is 0 so sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n 2 k by n pi 1 minus minus 1 power n sin n x so this is the Fourier series of f of x so it's very easy to find so now i will give you two homeworks homework first one find Fourier series of It is of f of x equal to x on interval minus pi to pi. And second one, find Fourier series of f of x equal to x square on minus pi to pi. So I will give you some hint that is if you if you will get a naught in the first problem, a naught and a n must be equal to zero, and second problem bn must be equal to 0 and I will tell you why it happens in the next class so there is a few tricks you can do by using even and odd functions
So if you have any doubt, you can ask me otherwise. Any doubt? 